Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? I'm good today. I'm really feeling quite sleepy. I woke up around 3am and it's now quarter past 6 in the morning and I am quite relaxed. I'm not really doing anything much and this is a pretty old gameplay but it's got a nice starting nade. I I really do love firing range and summit for its starting nades because usually about 90% of the time I can hit both sides whichever spawn and I like that. I like my starting nades because it makes me feel happy and warm inside. But this is going to be the first of a new series where I just really relax and just talk to you guys because 90% of my commentaries now are either random class videos where I just live com or they're set out commentaries like the request one where I know which I'm going to be talking about. I have a thing that I just basically set out in my head and that's it basically. But this series is, is going to be a one take wonder, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm going to do all of these, the first take, and I'm just going to chat to you guys. This is going to be the series where I don't have a script. I never have a script, but I have no idea at all what I'm going to be talking about. I just talk, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, the, yeah, this is a pretty old gameplay. It's recorded when I still had my netbook properly working, so it's a little bit higher quality than you guys will be used to at the moment. And it's still using Lethal Killstreaks, the default 357, in fact. And I was happy at Black with Black Ops at this time. I'm more happy now. I've taken a break from it last week. So when I go back, I'm sure I will be completely and utterly happy with my life. But looking at my perks, this was even before I started using Tac Mask. This is an inherently old gameplay. And I just picked this out at random. I just scrolled down the list of more than 200 gameplays that I have stored on my computer and I landed on this one and I therefore used this one. I end up 37.7 I believe. I have this listed as A because my filing system on my computer is absolutely brilliant. I have them all in one folder and if it is an exceptionally good gameplay it's one of the best I have it at A and then if it's slightly below it doesn't really fit into the A category it's B and then below that is C so basically I have a school ranking system and I also have halfway so I can have A slash B it's, re it's really quite amazing and then I note down the score and then I note down something interesting that happens in the gameplay or something you know completely random at the moment it is A 37 to 7 starting grenade dot MPG which is just amazing and as you can see I'm pretty tired and I'm just rambling but it's a good fun commentary. I don't know how often I'll be doing these. I was thinking about doing it, you know, like a random Sunday. I'd post one up every Sunday, but I think that goes against the whole thing of it being random and it being relaxed and just chatting to you guys, so I won't be doing that. But the AK-47, I've moved on from it now and I've also moved on from the suppressor which I also have on this gun. That was my goal a couple of weeks back. If you follow me on Twitter, I said today's goals, or this week's goals rather, are to move away from the suppressor and to get Tac Mask Pro, and I did both of them. Though Tac Mask Pro is not a bitch to get, I have to admit, because you have to get, I think, 20, like, you damage with a stun, flash, and Nova Gas, 20 each, and then you finish them off which was inherently hard to do. The flashes and the stuns, not so much, but it took me forever to get the Nova Gas ones done. It's worth it, don't get me wrong. I love not being able to be stunned or flashed and being able to run through Nova Gas, and it also allows me to run these kind of things and not have to worry about if I throw them willy-nilly around the place because I will still you know, not be affected by them and I won't stun myself and therefore die because that's an awful way to go, isn't it? Really, really awful. But Tac Mosk Pro is a bitch to get, but I do definitely recommend it. With Flak Jacket, because if you haven't got Flak Jacket, you really do need Hacker, because, my goodness, I hate being blown up by Claymores. It's the bane of my life. I really hate being blown up by Claymores. Oh, care packages. I'm still using those old things. They really annoy me now, because I don't use them anymore. The enemy uses them, and they always get really good shit in them. It annoys me immensely, and this spot right here is a lovely... Do I get the triple? Do I get the triple? I do get the triple. Sit down, kids, sit down. And I hate those long names. Long names ruin kill feeds. Why do long names do that? Why would you pick a long name that ruined a kill feed? That's, that's sad. Makes me cry. 
But yeah, uh, that was a lovely spot for spawn trapping down there because you really do need someone covering that kind of corridor if you oh dear my friend just ran right into the second chancer I am so sorry but if you they are spawning down there down at tires they can get all three flags relatively easily because there are three paths to each flag uh, right out of their spawn so you do need someone holding down that middle kind of pathway and they will keep coming at you because most of the people you play against are absolute morons I'm not gonna lie to you there are a lot of idiots on the call of duty black ops but yeah, back to care baggages. I really this was a yeah, this was a bad move jumping down there into the middle of everything, oh dear me. But I really do hate how care packages always seem to give really good things to the enemies and then really shit things to me. But there you go. I don't know if I switched to hardline or not. I don't know whether I'm that far on, but I stopped switching to hardline before I stopped using care packages because I just got bored. What do I get? I get a counter spy plane. I did switch, so I have a sentry gun and what else do I get? I get a spy plane which I will switch to an RC car. Amazing and I die and I respawn and I remember this I'm like I'm gonna get this sniper and I'm talking over the mic to my friends I'm gonna get this bitch I'm gonna get this bitch where is he where is he? It's a ghost that wasn't him oh my goodness get out of the corner you fucking retard which is a lovely thing to say to the enemy I shouldn't actually use the word retard I don't know my mum doesn't like me using it so I usually don't use words that she doesn't like, but I'm driving my RC car, vroom vroom, ooh, a care package, yeah, I'm ta saying to my teammates, take the care package, I got your back, ooh, boom boom, you blow up, you blew, and the place to put sentry guns on this map is obviously up in construction, overlooking B, it can also overlook the main building there, and the only thing that you've really got to worry about is the place that I'm looking at here, people can get up there pretty easily and they can kill the sentry gun. And I have no idea what I'm doing here, I'm just a little confused about life. Oh well, confusion about life is the way that all things works. The meaning of life, what is the meaning of life, I don't know. I was thinking about that I think a week ago, I've uh, lost interest in it now, but the meaning of life is... I don't actually, I didn't actually reach a conclusion, which is a shame because you know if you reach a conclusion on what the meaning of life is, you'd get paid for that. You'd get a patent. I don't know if you guys uh, use the same term for patent, but it, I'm not, I can't really explain what it means. You know what it means, but yeah, you'd get paid for that. You'd get money. You'd get girls. You'd get a lot of good shit out of life if you discovered the meaning of life. If you became the next Einstein or the next, um, who's another great genius? Einstein's the only one I can get through my head and that's only because he was mentioned in a, a TV show I watched yesterday. I, I am surprised how much I learn from TV shows and computer games because I don't know if any of you know this series called Stargate but I learned all my Egyptian history from that and it got me through an exam in high school which it's just oh and there's a game a computer game called Medieval Total War and that's where I got all my medieval knowledge from and I believe that got me through one of the classes in high school without an exam which is amazing you can learn so much and obviously it's not a good thing that you're telling your kids this because they will stop playing computer games and watching TV if they think that they're learning from them and I don't know the whole thing about video games damaging today's youth no I don't think that uh, video games are causing violence in today's youth population, to be honest. I mean, 200 years ago, we didn't have video games and we were still killing each other. So I don't really think that you can blame something that has been going on since the beginning of time, since the beginning of life itself, on video games. That's just, oh, that's just the way that parents are, aren't they? I mean, I didn't get my PS... Xbox. No, I got an Xbox first. I got an Xbox and then a 360 and then I moved on to PS3, which is amazing considering we don't have a lot of money, but we had more money then, so moving on. Uh, I didn't get it t t till I was about 11, maybe? 10? I mean, most kids, they grow up with video co game consoles, uh, but all I had when I was growing up was a computer, which I had lots of games on. I mean, I didn't not game until I was 11, but that's the first console I got and I remember being so fucking excited it it wasn't true and I may actually see if that Star Trek I believe no uh, the other one there's Stargate Star Trek and then there is Star Wars that was the one I had a Star Wars game on there which had a lot of games like uh, a lot of game modes like Black Ops has like Capture the Flag Team Deathmatch etc I might actually find if that is on PS3 
it was some kind of battlefield or whatever I think it was the second one but I may actually try and find that because I loved that game that was the only game that I played on that console for I think ever and that's the only reason I've actually kept that console and it's still in there the disc so I may actually try and find that bit of PS3 and get, get you guys some of that because that was a lovely game I think that is the one game that I remember from my childhood console years just that game it was just awesome in so many ways Oh, nostalgia. Memories. I do hope you enjoy this randomness. But I've been talking for almost 11 minutes, I think, this gameplay has gone on for. It's coming to an end, as you can see. I ended 37 and 7. I did alright. Uh, I'm playing with some completely random people. I don't think I've played with them since. But it was a good game. I really enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Or tomorrow. Or whatever. Peace. And who topped it? 1411 Nitro played with him a couple of times I can't see anyone else that I know because I can't see the leaderboard but hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow peace <laughs>